And welcome back to the Jason Show Home Edition. He is a part of the mega successful group, 98 Degrees. We got to know him last year when he stopped by our studio during our week-long special uh, shows at the Vikings headquarters. Please welcome back to the show our good friend, it's Jeff Timmons, everybody. Jeff, how you doing? I'm great, man. How are you? How are you holding up? You know what? Holding up is a good word. How are you holding up with, with the whole family? I mean, I, I feel the worst for parents having to, like, be – you have to be like social coordinator. You have to be everything. How are you guys doing? Well, look, man, not to sound corny, but I kind of see it as a blessing trying to make lemonades out of lemon, uh, lemonade out of lemon, because, you know, look, I'm on the road quite a bit, even though we've constructed our career to be at home during the week. And traditionally 98 degrees does touring on the weekends. It's still not the same. You're still going through the hustle and bustle half the week and catching up with this and that. So now it gives you an excuse to be at home and certainly, you know, catch up with some schoolwork. I've enjoyed the time I've had with my kids. Those that have been here, a couple of my kids are off to school and in different places, but it's been all right. I mean, uh, you know, it's given me time to get back in the studio, in my house. I have like a little home studio here and learn some programs and really kind of catch up with the things that I've sort of been procrastinating about. I love that attitude because you and I were talking off camera. One of the things, again, trying to look on the positive was I had to learn, I, I when you said, you know, you learn new programs, I had to learn how to do the show from my house. And I really, it really had to stir up the creative juices. The same thing for you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, it's given me a chance to catch up with some things that traditionally I wouldn't have time to do. A couple of programs here and there, get my studio chops up because, you know, 98 Degrees might be getting back in the studio sometime soon. That's given us pause as well. I mean, we've been kind of getting spoiled with, you know, going on tour, having the, our cake and eat it too, getting, being able to be in front of the fans, yet be home with our families all the time. But now it gives us an excuse to work on new music. You know, we don't know when that part of our business is going to come back and open back up, so to speak. So, you know, let's get creative. Let's, you know, get our chops up and in, in, uh, together as a group. And so that's what we've kind of been exploring. So it's been kind of nice. Because correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff, weren't you guys in the middle of or at the beginning of a tour when COVID struck and the world basically shut down? Yeah, I, I think we had some 45 dates on the books coming up and, you know, we were really, really getting rocking and rolling. We had had some very successful so shows so far in 2020. And then, you know, we had to shut it down and we were like, wow, you know, nobody on the entire in the entire planet uh, expected that this would happen. And especially us. I mean, we were like, OK, you know, this is our schedule. We're at home then we're on the road. We have these three three shows this weekend, these three, four, four shows the next weekend, and then all of that stops. So we're like, wow, okay, well, we're having such fun and, you know, ex exactly getting the opportunity to enjoy success with our fans still, which 20 some plus years we're lucky to do. And how do we really capitalize on, on the momentum that we have? And so now we're regrouping and trying to find out new ways to get some stuff out to our fans and stay in touch. I Well, I was going to say, you've done such a good job. I was looking at your social media and, and again, it's the ingenuity. I mean, it's what everyone has to do. I mean, you have to try to figure out a way to stay connected. Isn't, and I asked you a version of this when we were together last year, I, cause this is my era. You and I are around the same age. I think it is so great. You guys backstreet and there's like a resurgence of this type of music. Where do you think that comes from Jeff? What, what do you think is the, the, the catalyst for that? Well, none of it happens without the fans. I know that's a cliche to, no, thing to but say, yeah. but you know, you know, sometimes fans grow out of your music and your style and you and, and everything else. But with us, for us, we had a mostly young female fan base. And so, you know, they kind of grew up with us, stayed with us when we didn't do anything for several years. And when we came back and fortunately had a big launch uh, for our comeback with Boys, the Men and New Kids. I mean, you can't go wrong being bookended with those two uh, legendary acts. And, and that just sort of gave us a shot in the arm and, and realized that, you know what, our fans have been loyal to us. It gives us a chance to live our dream, go out there, sing for a living perform for a living and and get you know this adulation and feed our egos from our fan base but no i mean it gives us a chance to do music and so you know for us to get to do music for a living you know 20 some odd years later is a, a real blessing i mentioned you staying connect with the fans uh in, in our remaining minutes i was laughing jeff because again we're around the same age if you look on jeff's uh uh instagram i see you tried tiktok jeff i don't get tiktok <laughs> i don't know how to do it People try to, I, I just can't do it. You did pretty well, my friend. 
Oh my gosh, it was terrible, but thank you for the compliment anyway. My, no, my youngest daughter, Ariana, and, and uh, my, my oldest son is really, it. they're into TikTok and they know what they're doing and they're like, you need to get on it. This is the new thing. I'm like, damn, well, we had MySpace back in the day, then Facebook and Pinterest and, and SoundCloud uh, and Facebook and how many things do we need? But I, I got on there and I tried it and failed miserably. And, I, and it got a ton of views. I think it's because it was so bad, but you know, it, you know, some things you age yourself out of. So I don't know how often I'll be back on the TikTok platform for, but it is fun and you're doing uh we have just about 30 seconds left you're doing some solo stuff as well outside of 98 degrees right well just just messing around in the yeah. studio nothing official i mean i'm all about the group right now but just teetering around the studio seeing what fans like obviously again getting my chops up and just having fun it's great well thank you for coming on it was i gotta tell you um i when a guest leaves a celebrity I, you know i always talk about what they're really like you were so kind to everybody that day and uh it, you you left and you left a, a big mark on our crew not just producer Lori fisher but everybody <laughs> we you, love love you Lori. love you Lori. but you uh you guys were just so great when you guys came to the to the vikings headquarters so i just want to say thank you on behalf of uh, the staff Thanks for having me. Give me a chance to be with you today, Jason. I appreciate it. Follow Jeff on social media, everybody. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after.